the case as lacking substantive evidence and maintains the submissions made are anchored on mere hearsay. Henry Tende reports. After hearing submissions from Raila Odinga's legal team on Wednesday, Thursday was the turn of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, and the chair Wafula Chebukati to mount their submissions in defense of allegations leveled against them. E004, E007, and E008. A team led by Professor Gidhumi Gai, Kamau Karori, Eric Gumbo Mahatsomane, and Abdi Kadir Mohammed taking up the honors of submission one after the other to deconstruct Raila's petition that elections were not conducted in a fair manner. IEBC and its chairman conducted the 9th August 2022 presidential elections strictly in compliance with the guidelines that this court has given. To show that IEBC remained true to its core mandate, Gidhumwe Gai has told the court that the electoral agency, through the leadership of Wafula Chebukati, instituted electoral reforms in compliance with the directions of the Supreme Court in a presidential petition of 2017. These reforms, IEBC argues, enable the commission to run a transparent, verifiable and credible elections. This, my lord, is a petition about facts. It's a petition about what happened. What happened, when, where, with what consequences. And therefore, ultimately, notwithstanding the very lucid and learned and honest arguments by my very learned friends to my right, This petition is about numbers. It is ultimately about numbers. The petitioners have tried to argue every other point except numbers. Dissecting through the evidence presented by Raila's legal team, led by James Orengo and senior counsel Phil Mugo, Gidhu Mwigai maintains the case presented lacks evidence and is based on hearsay and should be dismissed with conjecture. The petitions make grave allegations of a criminal nature. Fraud, tampering with election materials and results, conspiracy to unlawfully influence an election outcome, and even implied treason, implied treason, all that without a shred of evidence, all that without a shred of evidence, especially as it relates to the Honorable Chebukati, the chairman of the commission. The vilification against this gentleman goes beyond anything we have ever had before in this courthouse. On whether or not the differences within the IEBC commissioners interfered with the credibility of the entire electoral process, as heavily cited in evidence submitted by Raila's legal team, Chebukati through his lawyer, Mao Karori maintains the law permits him to declare results in his capacity as the presidential returning officer and that the split in commissioner's witness before results were announced did not in any way affect the discharge of his duties. We got a declaration made because it is the obligation of the chairman to make that declaration and anybody unhappy with that declaration, the option available to them is to come to the court and the court will determine the issue. The option cannot be that a number of the commissioners can decide we are the majority and we are going to walk away and therefore there will be no declaration of results. Additionally, Karori told the court that the four dissenting IEBC commissioners acted maliciously with an intended outcome to sabotage the electoral agency. My lords, it is critical that it becomes clear to political leaders that the decision as to who will be the leader of this country is made at the polling station. The agents, the commissioner, the commission agents who declare the results are just doing their job. If there is a problem, if the numbers uh, of the votes that you, you got are not enough, the problem is not at the declaration. The problem is with people who you did not persuade to vote for you in sufficient numbers. Henry Tende, Look Up TV.